Yes, uh, the first Boys and Girls Club conference I went to. I don't even think it was a national conference. I think it was just a state one. But I remember I was like, it's like every story, everyone was telling the, how the club changed their life. And I was like, oh, this is so great. So, but I remember feeling like I was in the room with like, I had finally found my people, like people that were just believe they could change the world. Um, I worked in healthcare, so I was in nursing. And I realized that I fell in love with my job when I started to have like a full blown panic attack. That, that was my last day working at the club that week that I had to go back to 12 hour shifts, not a lot of recognition. I don't know when it happened. It just kind of hit me one day. I was like, I don't want to leave. I, this is where I want to be all the time. Um, and my friend who actually dragged me into the Boys and Girls Club uh, said, if you don't go to camp for your first summer, you did this wrong. It'll never work. You're that guy. And I said, okay. So I went and I just had these experiences in youth development where I was like, man, this stuff works. And you can just, being your authentic self and just befriending a child who may not have that supportive relationship in their life, seeing that impact was the selling point for me. And when I found the club, it was, I finally found like the nonprofit mission that I had been looking for and didn't realize it. Um, Cause everything I had done before, it was great, but it wasn't as holistic as what we do at the club um, where we're really meeting whatever needs our kids and family have. Uh, one of our slogans is whatever it takes. And we mean that. I mean, of course we're gonna stress academics and healthy lifestyles and all those things. But if our kids don't know where they're gonna sleep tonight or where their next meal is going to come from, we got to take care of those things first. So our staff really just go above and beyond to close those gaps for kids and give them whatever they need to be successful. Me working at Farm Bureau and working from 8 in the morning to 4.30 in the evening, I knew my kids were safe. And that's one of our big goals is safe. This is a safe environment where a kid can be a kid and you don't have to worry. Well, the thing I like is about that all my friends go to Boys and Girls Club with me and are in the same classroom with me. And they also go to the same school with me and that the people here at Boys and Girls Club are super nice. And I like all the fun activities we do. Um, it was kind of fun when we were in the gym. We would always play basketball. It's not a really big thing, but it's just like coming here to see people and get to know people more. I really was nervous at first because I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know if I was going to meet anybody that I really knew, but it's how my friends started coming, so. Well, my favorite part is the gym because I get to, like, run around a lot. That you can make friends quickly. So when I became a program director, um, I was able to do all these fun programs, um, but there was one particular one. It was fall break and I wanted to give these kids this fall festival. And so we had a DJ come down from Nashville. We had the cookout, the bounce house. And you see these kids are so excited. They were rapping to spiders. I don't know why, I don't know what they were doing, but to see the joy on their faces and I was like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, we've grown tremendously. Um, when I started here in 2012, we had one club site. It was in this building. We were serving 150 kids, uh, kindergarten through 12th grade, all in this facility. Today, we have 14 club sites uh, in two counties, so Murray and Giles counties. Um, we serve about 1,200 kids a year um, across those sites. Um, so we have three kind of traditional clubhouses, and then the rest of our sites are actually in schools. Um, but it's all the same programming, uh, the same training for our staff. It's just we're either in the school where the kids are or we're busing them to a standalone location. Well, I got to meet um, new people and I gave them my business card. I like how the people here are helpful, the staff and the kids. I like the things that we do with Miss Natalia, all the activities she has planned. And, you know, I like playing outside a lot. Giving them different resources to be able to kind of navigate the things that are going on in their own personal life is really important to all of us. So I think that's where you potentially save a child's life by being able to help them navigate the things that they're going through in the moment. Because I was in a dark place, I can say. Um, when my father left when I was six, um, I didn't really understand it because I was so young. But I grew up then feeling a void, that there was just always something missing or I wasn't good enough. 
so I got so dark that I did I wanted to take my life I was in my rut like I was just looking very down and then she came and she walked up to me and she was just like are you okay and I told her yeah I'm okay and then she said are you okay or you just don't want to talk about it and I'd never had anyone ask me if I'm actually okay or I just don't want to talk about it but it was that moment where I knew okay if there's ever anything going on with me I'm a priority so I started going to the club faithfully um, on 8th Street. It's not just troubled youth, because I feel like that's the misconception when it comes to the Boys and Girls Club. They're thinking, oh, only troubled adolescents go because they're not trusted at home by themselves for hours, so they go there. No, because I wasn't a troubled youth. I just had my own insecurities, but that's what you're going through as a child. Boys and Girls Clubs for all kids. Our mission, where it says to enable all young people, especially those who need us the most, to reach their full potential as productive, caring, responsible citizens. It's not just low-income kids that need a Boys and Girls Club. All kids are kids who need us the most. A, one parent was promoted at her job because she was able to have the club until 6 o'clock at night, and she knew that her child had a safe place to go. Um, he actually has autism. So when he got old enough to come down here, and I do believe it was during the COVID, so they were letting me have him here for free. So I got to move up at my job as a manager. I don't have Section 8 food stamps. I'm a manager now. Like, Armani's blossoming. It's beautiful. Sometimes he gets angry and, you know, he... Sometimes he doesn't know how to channel that anger and they help him with that a lot. He loves to draw. So they gave him his own little notebook and when he gets you know, a little frazzled, he goes down there to the office and he sits in there and he draws. They, they really work with him here and I, I like that a lot. I think he's, he's really proud of me. He gets to see me in this role every day um, and he is so proud. Um, and for him, he's just been able to be a social butterfly. Um, he has opened up, he gets help with his grades. Um, he's able to play basketball and be with staff. The club has been a huge impact for me and him both, actually. I got high school. I was planning to um, go to college for basketball and go to the league. But that don't work. I plan to work here and be a CEO to this wrong job. We depend on donations. Um, every Boys and Girls Club is its own independent 501c3. We've got to raise all of our own funds locally. And it's critically important to us that we never turn any child or family away. So they pay what they can afford to pay. And if that's nothing, then that's nothing. And we've got to fundraise uh, to pay our, you know, all of the expenses to take care of that child. And Research tells us that people don't give to organizations, they give through organizations. And we want our donors to know that there's so many ways to be financially invested and in how far we can stretch a dollar. The things we can do with one dollar is amazing. They actually say that every dollar invested in a Boys and Girls Club will return nine dollars and sixty cents into your local economy. You're changing lives. When you donate and you are donating for supplies or for afternoon snack or to help them go on a field trip, like you are changing a child's life. Well, if you're gonna give your time anywhere and your, your goal is to make a difference, I think kids are the way to do that. I mean, they're the future. Um, so I envisioned from day one how this could be that place in Giles County. The uplighting of, you know, we're over here on the north side of town and anywhere you would look in Pulaski, you see just this shining light, you know.